Hello, hello. Today we are going to play with some hot new-ish drugstore makeup and see how it all works on my 63-year-old very dry skin. I have pretty much a full face of makeup here. Foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, blush. As always, I will include timestamps, product links, discount codes, lots and lots of information for you in the show more description box below as usual. And with that, let's jump into it. All right, let's get into it. Now this first product is not new, but it is from the drugstore. I always start my makeup with my Pixi Peach Corrector to cancel and neutralize the dark inner corner. Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. You have probably seen me do this a million times before. I just sort of stipple it into that dark inner corner and pat with my finger. Corrected, not corrected. Let's get the other side done. I was really excited to pick up the new Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation, $17.99. Pretty pricey for the drugstore, but I do have a soft spot in my heart for Revlon and I've been hearing so many great things about this, I really wanted to give it a try. Here are the claims. Medium radiant coverage, sounds right up my alley. I could not find any specific wear time claims. It does claim hydrating skin loving ingredients and it does have squalane, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, dimethicone. I did not see any fragrance or drying alcohol listed, so that's a plus. Now this does come in 28 shades, which is pretty good for the drugstore. Even so, I found it very difficult to find a shade. You know, I could not find any shade descriptions. They didn't talk about undertone. They just listed the shade number and the shade name. I'm usually in the light to light medium range. So I first ordered two. I was hoping to cover my bases. I ordered 117 light beige, which was more on the light range, and 209 buff beige, which to me appeared to be more on the light medium range. Both of them were way too light. So into Ulta I went to return those and I picked up 217 beige. Again, no description of undertones. And this did look to be in the middle of the range. I still think it might be a tad light, but we are gonna make it work. For reference, I am going to show you how the Revlon swatches in comparison to some of my other favorite foundation shades. On the top, we have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable 3N. Wet and Wild Photo Focus Dewy Soft Beige. Right in the middle, we have the Revlon 217 Beige. Like I said earlier, they really don't give any description of the shade, you know, like light medium or even the undertone. And then we have uh, Charlotte's Beautiful Skin for Neutral. And lastly, Estee Lauder Futurist in the shade 2N1 Desert Beige. So that is how the Revlon compares to some of my other shades. My 63-year-old very dry skin is already cleansed, moisturized, and protected with SPF. Today I used my Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 46. This is untinted. On the days where I am showing you foundations, I really do like to use an untinted SPF so as not to interfere with the shade of the foundation. Revlon Illuminance Glass Bottle with a Pump. Here is the consistency. Not overly runny, not overly thick. And let's get this. Oh, look at that. It almost looks green gray on my face, but I have used this a couple of times before. We will get it blended in. I'm gonna use BK Beauty 106, and I am applying it quite lightly. Blends in really easily, but again, I'm using a very light layer, if you will. A little bit on the forehead. All right, foundation. No foundation. Let's get it on the other side of the face. 
whoops, I may have applied more on that side. And on this side, I'm going to use a damp sponge. The sponge definitely picks up quite a bit of product. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit more, maybe start out with my fingers and then finish with the sponge. All right, foundation is on. I am going to see if I can build it up a little bit because I do see a little bit of pinkness showing through. So let's just see if we can build it up a tad. Other side. And I think it does work a little better with the brush. So that was about one and a half pumps. I do think it built up nicely. I do think it is offering a nice medium, slightly radiant finish. Let me take a closer look. Uh, it is sort of gathering in the corners of my nose. And forehead lines. You know, almost everything gathers in my forehead lines. That's one of the reasons I try to apply foundation more lightly on my forehead. It is setting nicely. It's not overly tacky, but it still feels moisturized. What do you think? Luckily, I did receive some drugstore concealer in PR from Physician Formula. They sent me all six shades of their Butter Glow Concealer. Physician Formula is cruelty free. They are not fragrance free. We all know that. Here are the claims. Long wearing, radiance boosting, hydrating concealer, smooth and creamy texture for a radiant soft focused finish. Infused with illuminating minerals to impart a subtle radiance with the Muro Muro, I don't know how to say that, butter essential fatty acids to soften, condition, and moisturize the skin. Sounds great. Again, the shades are very, very strange. Luckily, I got all six shades because I actually do have to blend two. Let me show you a shade swatch. This is the Physician Formula in the shade Light Medium. To me, that is just very light, fair to light. It is way too light for me. For reference, I included my Lancome Tint A Doll in the shade 215 Buff, which is a perfect shade match for me. And this is the Physician Formula, which is the next shade up from this one. And this is called Medium Tan, which is way too dark for me. As far as the packaging, glass bottle, it has this interesting little sponge on the end, which I am pretty sure I am not going to get much use out of. And it has a doe foot applicator. Definitely scented. I am going to see if I can get a blend of these two shades so that I can get something that is a little bit workable for my skin tone. I think Okay, there is, I think, a pretty good blend. It's probably about 70% of the lighter shade, 30% of the deeper shade. This is way more concealer that I am going to need, but I wanted to make sure not to run out so I, because it's really hard to get the same blend twice. I'm picking up a little bit with my Angie Hot and Flashy brush, and let's just pat this. Oops, I picked up quite a bit. I'm going to wipe some off. And let's see how this looks. You know, it's still a tad light, isn't it? So let me use my finger. And I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow primer as well. Let's see how it looks on this side. 
and let's finish with a sponge. Let me take a closer look with a magnifying mirror here. Just a touch of gathering right there. And you know, it's very possible that I applied too much because you know, I couldn't use the doe foot applicator to apply it. But overall, I think it looks really nice. I think it's not a bad shade, but I did have to mix two shades. And that is the Physician Formula Butter Concealer. Milani eyeshadows have been a little hit or miss for me over the years. You know, several years ago, they had these wonderful little palettes that I absolutely loved. I had it in several shades, discontinued long ago. I completely adored the Milani, what was it called, the Sultry palette. Perfect, cool, neutral. I just loved it, of course, discontinued. Now, the past couple of years, they've had a range called, what is it called, Most Wanted. Really pretty color stories. I did purchase a couple. Unpopular opinion, many people do enjoy these palettes. I never really got on with them. I found them to be powdery, not pigmented. They didn't last on my eyes. I decluttered those long ago. So I wasn't sure to expect with the new Milani Gilded Mini but I did pick up a couple for the team. Here is the packaging. I picked up their all matte palette. This is called Whiskey Business. I thought it was just a great range of shades, light to deep, cool and warm, 100% matte. I thought we would give that a try, but you know I am not a 100% matte gal. I wanted to try some of their shimmers, so I also picked up the palette called Old Fashioned. Now this is very, very cool, but it does have three mattes, three shimmers, so I really wanted to play with the shimmers. It Let's start out our look with some matte shades from Whiskey Business. You know, there's no way I'm going to be able to use all of these eyeshadows today, so I am going to do some finger swatches so you can see what they look like. And deepest second deepest my gosh now this one doesn't show up that well on my skin but I think it's going to be a perfect transition shade let me clean my fingers off and I will swatch those last two as well we have a nice warm mid-tone and a beautiful cream I really do find having a cream eyeshadow in a palette very very useful and the cream really does show up so that is the matte formula deepest to lightest picking it up with a fluffy brush oh my do you see that kick up tapping my brush off really really well a little bit powdery for sure but let's see how they apply on the eye i always place my transition shade sort of onto the orbital bone, but not all the way up to my brow bone. I'm going in pretty lightly because you can always build up, but it's a little bit harder to take away if you go in too heavy. Then to deepen up the outer corner, I'm gonna use my Refer 13, which is quite a bit smaller because I wanna be very precise where I'm putting these darker shades this is a little bit too deep for my preference, so I am going to pick up just a touch of that and a touch of that to sort of, I don't know, lighten it a little bit. Tap it off really well. These definitely are powdery, and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. Again, I'm sort of testing the pigmentation here, and this tiny little brush fits deep into that crease. Really nice for a little bit of depth taking my fluffy brush and blending. So that's a pretty good start to our look. Now I'm really craving some shimmers, so we are going to go into Whiskey Business, which does have three shimmers. There's a matte black, a very deep taupe, sort of a nice bronze, and a, I don't know, sort of a dark brown. There are the finger swatches. You know, I personally don't use black eyeshadows very often, but I know many people do find those useful. That's a really pretty shimmer. 
That's a really pretty shimmer. These are swatching fantastically. That is the matte brown, nice champagne shimmer, and sort of a gray ivory matte. Champagne shimmer, gray ivory matte. Again, pretty pigmented. So these are the swatches for Whiskey Business. For the outer corner, I do want to use this sort of taupey shimmer. I'm going to pick it up with a flat shader brush. By the way, this is the IT Cosmetics for Ulta Brush 112 flat shader brush. I've had it for years. It is 50% off today during the 21 Days of Beauty. I will link it below. I am going to pick up another one of these because I think they are great shader brushes. Anyway, I'm going to pick some of this up. And I'm curious, I'm not seeing any like fallout, but I am tapping my brush off and I am going to put this in the outer corner. I think that is pretty. You know, that's a nice soft satin, not too glittery and I don't see any fallout. I also want to play with this bronze shade, cleaning my brush off with my Sigma Switch and actually going into the other side. This bronze shade looks really, really pretty. And I am going to sort of put that all over the, oh, that's deeper than I thought it was going to be. I might have to use a little of that champagne shade. I'm going to take an even smaller flat shader brush and go into some of this champagne because I do want to lighten that up. That was a little bit deeper than I thought it was going to be. Whoo, that's light. That's almost gray. And I do need to take a little bit of concealer on that outer corner and clean that up. I am using my Lancome because it's really the closest shade I have to matching my skin tone. And I'm going to use this brush to sort of press it in. So I have a nice clean line there. And my finger to soften the edges. So I have a nice little lift there. So I think we got a pretty smoky eye. I am going to go off camera, finish the other eye, get my brows, liner, mascara on, and then we will come back and we will play with some new drugstore blush and lipstick. Eyes are done. I will have brows, mascara, eyeliner, everything will be listed and linked in the description box below, as usual. I have to say, this eye look got a little smokier and a little bit deeper than I had intended. I was super, super excited when Essence came out with their Pure Nude blushes. You know how much I love my Pure Nude highlighter. I've talked about it many, many times before. So I picked up two of these blushes, 02 Pink Flush and 05 Pretty Peach. Now when I first got these home, I was a little bit intimidated by the sparkle I saw in the pan. But Kiki reminded me that sometimes that is overspray. So I rubbed all the sparkle off and it is much better. So I'm going to swatch these two shades for you. And here is the Pretty Peach. Oh my gosh, they're so silky, just like the Pure Nude Highlighter. Pink Flush, Pretty Peach. And there they are on my hand. They have a really pretty sheen. You know, we're going to use both of these colors today because I really can't choose and I feel like I, my face needs a little bit of warmth. So I'm going to take on my Angie brush, I cleaned it off, pink flush, and I'm dipping into the peach as well. Take a little bit off on my wrist so it's not too crazy. And let's get this, uh, oh, that is pigmented, you guys. That is pigmented. Wow. I did not expect that. Let's get it on this side. I think that's really, really, really pretty. A little bit on the nose. I really feel like I need a little warmth, a little warming up of this sort of neutral brown face. 
I went a little ham with the blush, but I really felt like my face needed a little brightening color. I really like those two shades mixed together. It's a peachy pink, really pretty, nice sheen, blended well. You know, I have been wearing these blushes the last few days, and in the bright outdoor sun, I can see one or two or three very fine micro glitters. But for the most part, once I got that overspray glitter off of the pan, I think it just gives a really nice, pretty sheen. Lastly, but absolutely not least, is lipstick. I really thought I was going to use some of my newer drugstore lipsticks that I talked about last week, such as my e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipstick, but I think all those lipsticks are just a little bit too bright. I'm wearing a pretty smoky eye today, so I want to go a little bit softer and more neutral with the lip color. So I pulled out an old favorite drugstore lip gloss. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Mocha. I think this is perfect for today's look. So that is Neutrogena Hydro Boost in the shade Pink Mocha. I think it's a really nice lip to accompany this fairly smoky eye and these peachy pink cheeks. So here is the final look. Final thoughts on today's products in no particular order. You know, I really did enjoy the formula of the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. It had really nice coverage, it applied well, it blended easily, it was hydrating, it didn't look dry or cakey. It really looked nice under my eyes. Unfortunately, they don't have a shade for me and I am sure I am not going to blend two concealer shades every single time I'm doing my makeup. Physician formula, you need more shades. As far as the other complexion product, the Revlon Illuminance Foundation, you know, it really went on nicely. It feels really good on the skin, nice medium coverage, really pretty radiant finish. Again, it comes down to the shade. I'm not 100% sure I have the best shade match. Maybe I'll continue to look for a better shade. I mean, I did make it work. But when I'm not super 100% comfortable with a shade, I tend not to reach for the foundation. Anyway, I do enjoy this. If you can find a shade, it is a beautiful foundation. Revlon Illuminance is a good one. As far as eyeshadow, you know, I was really pleased with the formula of these Milani Gilded Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. And I do think you can get a complete look out of either of these palettes. In spite of the fact that my look got a little bit away from me and got a little bit smokier than I wanted, that is probably user error. I do think these are a huge improvement over the Milani Most Wanted formula. I think these are really nice palettes at the drugstore for under $10. As far as the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush, what is not to love? Silky smooth formula, beautiful shades, lovely sheen. Now I'm not going to guarantee that you will never see a single micro glitter on your cheek, but overall these are lovely, lovely blushes. The price is right. These did not disappoint. I absolutely love it. Now I would love to hear your thoughts on any of these products or any other products at the drugstore. Also, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is still going on, 50% off daily steals. So far, I haven't really, I haven't made a community post on any super recommendations. Today's recommendation, however, for sure, is the IT Cosmetics for Ulta Brush Shader Brush 112. Really good brush. I've had it for years. I still use it on a regular basis. By the time you see this video, I will probably have already ordered my second one because $7 is a steal. That's why they call it a daily steal. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate your time. Have yourself a great day, a wonderful week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. This is how the Revlon compares to some of my, my God, I can't see. Of course, I use my Maybelline Lash Sensation. Here is how the Revlon, oh my gosh, my glasses are dirty. I wanted to use some of my IT brushes because they are part of the, tw 
Next up, oh my gosh, what is it? 